So look at this. We've got, we've still got fuel. I'll be honest, these are not the kind of maneuvers I typically do, but now we should be falling pretty much straight down. We've mostly taken out our uh, vertical or our horizontal velocity. We still have some vertical velocity, which you can tell by the difference between the surface and the orbital speed. And we can't actually zoom in any closer to where we are, so this is going to have to do. So all we get to do now is just wait and wait. You can see here, crew report again, same thing. EVA report, this should still be the lowlands. Oh, Midlands, look at that. So that means that we could potentially get even more science, assuming we can return with this intact. So over there's the Lowlands. We barely crept into the Midlands. All we've got to do is just not crash this. But I don't really think I have enough fuel to do too many more adjustments like the one I just did. So I'm probably just going to fly back to Kerbin after this. There's plenty of science to be had at Minmus. Do not get me wrong. You can. It used to be, and it may still be, that you can max your tech tree just between the moon and Minmus. But that's not really what, how I want to play this game. I want to be. I want to explore. I want to go into various fun areas of space and see what there is to see. And look, this is so much flatter. Not like perfectly flat or anything. If we look down here, we're actually. About 100 meters from actually landing which once again that's why it's very important to try and get a shadow that you can land with so I'm slow down very very slowly Minmus's gravity is still incredibly gentle very good for newbies and very good for people like me as well and it's not like say Gilly where you just will fly away if you sneeze pretty badly so there we go and landing complete. Landing, we're going to settle back down and we're okay. So crew reports from Minmus's Midlands, so even more science. Valentina, you're working overtime here, so this should be another EV airport from just above Minmus's Midlands, which we already have. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at these experiments. Again, we only brought two goo canisters anyway, so there's not as big of a return on this. So 50, we observe it. Log the pressure data. You can still get more, even though 60 signs to say we're in a vacuum. Log the temperature. All right, so keep that data. And let's EVA. So this is this is going to be a good mission. All right, so can she actually grab this here? Collect the data. And it removes the functionality, but that's OK. All right, so we're going to do this part first. Not like that, though. And she gets to step on here, and she's okay, right? Right? Take the data. And one more time. One more time. Not all that hard. And here we go. And let's... Okay, wait, we can take a surface sample from up here? That's funny. Well, let's take the data. Taking a, taking a surface sample and planting a flag on her ship doesn't seem like something you should be able to do. So Valentina, she's gotten more science than Jebediah now. Let's see if they're like keeping score. They're buds. You saw the fist bump in the uh, preview video. So here we go. Unfortunately, I didn't bring an additional science junior, and I can't really reset it. So let's plant a flag. We're going to say Midlands this time. So we still have a little bit of EVA left. So... Midlands get for science also have flats and I just put that in so that I know later what I've actually gotten so here's the EVA report from the ground you feel like a superhero when you jump in the air that's true and take a surface sample and it consists of crystallite grains very pretty probably not edible so 150 science jump whoa that's just one jump. That is one jump from the Midlands. This is how high up we are. All right, so. Good stuff. So she's happy about it. You do feel like a superhero when you do that, but unfortunately we gotta, oh. She's not dead. That would've been really inconvenient. If like, oh look, we have all the science and then she died. But yeah, she, you can't reach escape velocity here. 
I think you can actually jump off of Gilly. I think you can. But hey, you know what? Gilly is a place that we can get to. Gilly is the moon around uh, Eve. And we haven't really talked about the other planets in the solar system yet. Maybe we'll do that when we get back to the Space Center. But first thing is first, have we collected all the data from here? This one is good. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. We have gotten all the repeat data that we need from here. So let's toggle the display. 47. Oh, wow. Actually, a, a maintainable temperature right here. All right. So we don't really have to point anywhere in particular, but we're going to do this the way we normally do. Since we're already pointing towards the 90 degree angle anyway, let's just fly 90 degrees. That was a very different dust effect than the moon, not really what I expected. All right, so let's get a little bit of altitude. It's a lot of bit of altitude. And let's go ahead and just circularize real quick. Look at how much delta V this takes. This is the difference between gravity on the moon versus gravity on Minmus. You can pretty much do what you want around Minmus, and it's not going to bother the moon at all. Like here we are, we're below 6,000 meters now, and now we're a little bit higher. There we go. Eight minutes away. Not too much more science to get, though. So, said so just a literally a two-second burn. So I can pretty much just burn from here. In fact, that's all I'm going to do. We look at that. This is why I was saying, even though it looked like we had less fuel, we actually, fuel's not really an issue here. It's just getting here, that's the problem. All right, so if our target is Kerbin, and we want to get out of there, let's go ahead and add a maneuver. If we go like this, the pro one of the issues is, can we actually make it in a way that puts us back in the uh, sphere of influence? and close. So if I go like this, does that put us in? 900,000 is OK, but I can do better. Said I don't mind a, a weird trajectory like this. I can always fix it later. OK, that's, wow, mousing up and down now does something. All right, so we are at 89. So we got one that was a collision course. There we go. Only 200 some meters per second. We can do that. All right, 69 and. OK, I don't know what's happening there. All right, so 68. We can just burn in this direction until we hit the thing. That sounds good. All right, or if anything else, we can do a mid course correction. So this is a six second burn in about 30 minutes. So once again, it's just like engines are, can be so efficient out here. As we fly around Minmus one more time and see the sun set on this beautiful candy colored planet that's not really a planet. Could be a captured comet, could be anything, but it is orbiting around Kerbal. Not, well, it is orbiting around Kerbal, it's just orbiting around Kerbin, the planet as well. So let's burn. Here we go. I was looking 14, 13, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. At least I know I had enough fuel to do some more science if I had wanted to. 2, 1. This is not the most efficient thing ever. Yeah, we're actually, maybe I didn't have enough fuel. Uh oh. All right, well, you know what we can do here? We can actually go out like this. We're not within air capture range, and we're starting to burn more fuel than we need to. So we're just going to leave Minmus. Bye, Minmus. We'll know we've left Minmus's uh, zone of influence when. Uh, actually, we got. Oh, that's nice. We got slowed down. So we're back in the Kerbal sphere of influence. Focus on Kerbin, and all we have to do here. Look at this. We're not on an escape trajectory at all. All we have to do is just figure out. How do we need to adjust our maneuver? How do we need to adjust to make this crash? And there's a few ways we can do that. One of them is like that. There we go. Notice it only takes like 14 delta V. This is where these other markers start to become pretty important. So 33. Yeah, that's all we need. 
Is it going to be a daytime landing or not is, I guess, the more important question. Uh, we can make it around dawn, I think. Yeah, let's see. We don't want to be time accelerating still. So yeah, this has been a nine-day mission for Valentina, but she has gotten all the science. So let's go ahead and bring this in, bring this in. 1900, that'll do. That should get us at least on the dawn side. So there we go. And we still have the parachute and everything too. Said so if I jettison this here, that'll put me on a collision course. Wee, there we go. Oh, whoops. See, that's part of the fun of Kerbal Space Program is sometimes you hit the button too hard and you just fly around and around. That's annoying. So, Valentina, you get an extra long mission here. Great. Did you want all the science in the world? Well, here we go. And look at how slow that's going with just not being accelerated so quickly. So, whoop. Let's not screw this up twice. Now we're definitely doing a nighttime landing, which is a little bit annoying, but sorry guys, got a little too excited. Let's go ahead and uh, stage to decouple. Bye, science. Hopefully she gets caught in this this time. So yeah, we're, we're going on the dark side of the planet here, so there's not gonna be too much to see other than me possibly burning up which I guess would be typical because I'm flying as Valentina. And for some reason, I like experimenting with crafts on her. That doesn't make any sense or sound particularly nice. And I've got to figure out what some of these graphic things are because I'm getting some weird garbage. Oh, that's from the poles. So those, the poles kind of always do that. All right, so we're accelerating just a little bit. We're going back into the atmosphere. We can activate our parachutes pretty much any time. Oh, oh, okay. Gotta remember, I don't have a big spaceship anymore attached to this thing, so it just torques on its own. All right. Apologies for the dark video here again, as I just derped and did not get the sunrise I was hoping for. And it looks like we're actually, of all the places, all the times, we're actually gonna be landing in the water, not too far from the Kerbal Space Center, at least. So since there's not really anything exciting great to do other than just say, okay, let's, uh, let's land, I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the uh, actual splashdown so you don't have to sit and look at the dark. So activate the chute as that is what the common practice is now. And we, have the, uh, we don't have an ablative shield. This thing actually is just going to handle it. And I will see you all at splashdown. Well, here we go, ever landing ever so slowly. It's a good thing Valentina took her snacks because she's been in flight for 36 days. That's way more than you're supposed to be, but that's why you don't time warp through the uh, aero capture, which is still a little annoying that it happens, but hey, it happens. So there's the moon. We have now conquered that. Minmus, we have actually gotten quite a bit of signs from Minmus now. So the next goal is going to be to look a little bit higher, and I think that 36-day uh, mission may actually be a little bit of a kicker, because one of the first uh, windows of opportunity to open up is uh, EVE, in terms of where you can't explore. And I think because we went 10 extra days, we may have missed that window, but let's recover the vessel. How much science from that mission? Only 988.5, so I actually missed out on more science that I could have had. So what does that science include? Crew report. EVA from the lowlands, uh, EVA from the Great Flats, uh, from the Great Flats, from the Great Flats, from the Great Flats, observation and everything here. And we have material study, which is really a big get. Surface sample from the Midlands as well. So those are, that's 17 experiments. And we get a little bit of money from parts. Notice our funds are way down, actually. Six experience gains, so level two for her. Now that's, the, now that's the good news. We actually, oh, of course, now we get the thing to plant the flag on the moon. I don't know if that really is going to be, um, oh, science data from the surface of Minmus. All right, well, I mean, these are things that probably popped up just while I was flying around here. But let's see here. We have a few interesting missions, such as building an orbital station around Kerbin. But the station orbital station with antenna docking port and can generate power. 
supporting at least seven Kerbals. Avirin Coppola and maintain stability for 10 seconds. I think that is something we can do, although that's not great cash. Ferrying some people around can be money. But yeah, that's funny. We're actually, we went from having quite a bit of funds to doing some missions that didn't pay very much at all. So now we don't really have a lot. So I think we can definitely go for a space station. I think that might be worth a look here. But what else do we have? I just want to talk briefly real quick about the uh, rest of the solar system here. Now here is Kerbin. Here are the other planets that we have here. Let's just focus on the sun. We have Moho, which is a pain in the butt to get to, but its window opens up constantly. There's Eve, and I say pain in the butt, it just takes a lot of delta V. Eve, I think we missed the transfer angle. I'll have to double check. Duna is probably the next one that's going to open up. Jewel, I don't think we're ready for because we don't have nuclear engines. Probably the same with Drez. And then Elo, Elo I've, uh, is a place that I really want to land to, but we've got to wait to get there. We're going to work on the inner systems first and try and send some people to actually get some science and get some uh, just flags planted and visit the surface. The only one of these that I've ever actually landed on is Duna. And then around Jewel. Jewel's a cool system because it has multiple moons. I've landed on, not Val, I've landed on Lathe, which is this thing. It has water. Ooh. I'm a little curious. The devs had mentioned things before about what they wanted to do, have something happen with Lathe before the 1.0 update, but it's here and it hasn't really happened, so I guess they've just decided to leave an open mystery, which is fine. Duna does have a moon around it, Ike. It's actually easier to get to Ike than it is to Duna because, well, Ike has low gravity and plus you don't have to worry about escaping the atmosphere. But there's Duna. And then we have uh, Eve. Eve is the uh, Venus analog. And one thing that a lot of the cloud mods will, or cloud and light mods will do is actually put a nice Venus style dust cloud around it. Because otherwise, this is what it looks like. And it's a high pressure, high density, highest, uh, worst atmosphere to fly out of. And then there's Gilly, which is the tiniest thing in the whole game to land on, in stock at least. So that's, those are some interesting challenges that are presented here. But I mean, I have some choices with tech and I have some choices with I've got to farm some cash probably before I go forward, if only because I need to make some upgrades. I can't upgrade the launch facility here. I'm going to have to start working towards upgrading this. I'm going to have to start working towards upgrading the science center. Tracking station, Kerbal station, that's going to all wait probably, but... You see I have a thousand signs. I'm going to blow through that signs pretty well here. I need to think about some of the text that I want to get. But if I want to work towards something like nuclear propulsion, which I don't think I can get. Oh, research limit of 500. I can totally get it. I don't know why I thought it was 300. Well, I can totally actually get nukes right now and spend about half of my science budget. And that might be worth it for interplanetary travel. But we'll discuss that another time. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, this is Asher. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for sticking around. It's been fun, as always. We've made it to Minmus. We've pretty much done the extent of what I'm going to be doing on camera for the inner system thing, for the inner system exploration. I may do some contracts like this. Here's how you put a space station up. That seems reasonable. Here's how you get into a polar orbit or, a, uh, or any other of those things. That seems good. And, of course, we have plenty of things to do with space planes and stuff because I haven't really touched that yet. But I think my next goal here is to get the funds necessary to go to other planets. So let's work towards that next time. Take care.